Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google account lock a uh, security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP lock for factory reset protection. Now, here with us today, we have an Android tablet that is from On, which is a manufacturer that makes Android devices, and they call this device an 11.6 Tablet Pro. And we'll be able to see that later once we get into the settings. Uh, they're a little difficult to identify, though, uh, for this particular device, the model number is actually back here stamped on the back, and it is actually that 10004 number. So that's, that's kind of how ON does their uh, model numbers. It's just a random, it's just a random string of, of digits, so it's, they can be kind of confusing and difficult to identify, but basically that is the exact model that this video is about. So. Back to the FRP lock, this is a device that does actually have that lock enabled because it has been factory reset. And then as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, it comes to a screen that tells us that it was reset. And to continue, we have to either verify the previous screen lock passcode that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll give us the secondary option of signing in to the Google account that was previously used on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or also a lot of times these days, unfortunately, someone will purchase a used device from a dishonest seller on the internet, and then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that the device is actually locked. And then, of course, they're not going to have the previous user's login information. <clears throat> and the seller, unfortunately, is usually long since gone by then since it was a scam or a dishonest purchase. But we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast and stable internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet in order to do the exact same process that we just did here with this one. So, actually, before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock. We just left it in place right before the last step so that you guys could all see that the device was indeed locked, so that you know that this isn't a scam, there's no trickery going on here, and that we can actually get the lock removed. Now that we've done the last step, we should be able to go through the uh, configuration steps here and see that we can get all the way to the home screen without running into that Google Lock page. So from the start screen here, we're going to begin going through everything. We don't need to copy any apps and data, so that step will be skipped. And now when it comes to the Google page, we actually have a different message. It is no longer requiring the previous one. It's just giving the option if we want it configured with child restrictions or not. We are going to say no. We're just going to tap the adult option here. <clears throat> and then now here we have the option to sign into any existing Google account or even create a new one if we want in order to proceed. We don't need to proceed though, so we're going to just go down here and tap skip so that we can get through the rest of the setup steps as quick as possible. We do agree to all the Google services there. And we don't need a screen lock, so that will be skipped also. And we don't need any more apps, so that'll be skipped. Okay, there we go. We are all the way through the initial setup steps. We're at the home screen here and have full access to all of the apps and settings and features just as if it was a brand new device and the lock was never there. 
So while we are here, I'm going to pop down into the settings just to show you exactly again which model we're working with. So when we look under About Tablet, we can see that it is an on 11.6 Tablet Pro, the 11.6 being the measure of the screen size in inches. And then if we go and look under Model and Hardware, we can see that random string of numbers again for the model number the 1004-3279. So that is how we identify this specific unique device. And if you have one of these that has the Google account lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new uh, videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.